Thank you for coming. We're standing here at the beginning of National Cover the Uninsured Week, and I'm standing in front of this empty coliseum to help visualize the tens of thousands of children of working Virginia families who would have guaranteed health insurance today if the bipartisan S-CHIP legislation had not been blocked by President Bush, Congressman Goode, and many in Congress who seem more interested in the special interests than the common good of the Commonwealth. We could fill this stadium three times over with the 30,000 Virginia children who would have been covered by this bipartisan legislation. Covering our children with health insurance is not a question of right or left. It's a question of right or wrong. That's why so many Republican and Democratic leaders came together to support this sensible legislation. What we're looking at right now is not just a program to support the poorest of the poor but to make sure we're getting support to those families stuck between stagnating wages and skyrocketing costs of health insurance, food, and fuel. Right now, people in this district are looking for results. They're looking for solutions, not for excuses of why not to pass a piece of legislation. So it's astounding to me that Congressman Goode would be okay supporting a $400 billion handout to the pharmaceutical and drug companies, but wouldn't spend less than one-tenth of that amount to help working Virginia families make sure that their children have health insurance. As I travel around this vast district from Brunswick to Martinsville, from Gretna and Danville to Charlottesville and Appomattox and Bedford, one thing I hear in every town I go into is people's stories about how they're struggling to make sure they can provide basic health care to their children. How their one diabetes attack, one trip to the hospital away from going into more and more credit card debt. This is a situation where we can come together to focus on real solutions to our problems. And that's what people deserve from us right now. When we look across this district at the families that are struggling in the Commonwealth, I'm struck again by the idea that here was an opportunity to do something. We so often complain about Washington not getting anything done. And here people came together, but President Bush vetoed that legislation. And Congressman Good was one of 30 people that could have made the difference in overriding that veto. Despite the disappointment about this legislation, many of us have spent years fighting for health care for children, poor children, middle class children. Here we have a situation where we're sending all the wrong signals. For those people who are working hard and playing by the rules and trying to work their family out of poverty and into the middle class, it doesn't make sense for this successful program to punish those who are working their way up. This is an opportunity to reward exactly the kinds of things we need in our economy and in our communities. But I stand here hopeful because I see right now a new generation of political leaders more interested in solving problems than in partisanship, more interested in getting things done than making the other side look bad. Many of us, like myself, come from the nonprofit sector, where we felt the best way to make a difference in people's lives was through community service, through our houses of worship. That was the place we could care for the least among us. But we've increasingly come under the understanding that to make that kind of impact in people's lives, to fix the root causes, we must also be willing to look at our political leadership and shift those who control the strings of power in Washington, taking that away from the special interests and handing it back to those committed to the common good. And that's what I see for the first time in my lifetime, is people being willing to believe that politics is a place we can make a difference in people's lives. So I stand here hopeful that I can win this election and go up to Washington, roll up my shirt sleeves, and fight for working Virginia families to make sure that all children have health insurance. And I look forward two years from now to coming back to this very Coliseum, looking around the vast seats behind me and knowing that we could fill this place three times over with the number of Virginia children who now have health insurance because we were able to put problem solving ahead of partisanship and focus on a politics of right and wrong. Thank you very much.